the light goes green and it's a great start from Timmy Hansen. He draws alongside Christofferson, but Christofferson dives onto the inside. Christofferson is the early leader. The Audi's moving around all over the place. I think Christofferson does have an issue, Nick, but I can't see what it is on the screen at the moment. Timmy Hansen's going for the inside line. Timmy Hansen has got the better of Christofferson. Timmy Hansen! Has he done enough? It must be a puncture. Now Christopherson needs to hang on to third. He's going to defend hard from Kevin Abring into the final couple of corners. It's all come back into Timmy Hansen's hands. He's got to hold on here, Christopherson. Hansen leads, shine a second. Here comes Abering, trying to steal it. Christopherson uses all of his skills. Abering may have got him on the inside. The launch is so important, and it's a good launch from Kevin Hansen. Look at Zabo getting right into the action, and it's Kevin Hansen that has the early lead. What a brilliant start from the younger of the Hansen brothers. Grunholm just about holding on to second, or is Zabo now up into second position? And Enzo Ida is right in the mix as well. Now, this is absolutely vital, and of course, Grunholm looking for a little bit of help from his teammates. I don't think he's got enough, maybe he has. We can't quite see Nicholas in the shot. He's going to pop out just between Zabo and Ida. Ida looks to the inside of Grunholm, but Grunholm's done it. He's got him. Great work from uh, Grunholm, holding on to third position, booking himself a spot in the final. Hansen, Zabo, Grunholm, one, two and three. An amazing job by the team to get the car repaired in time. Such a short time frame to change an entire gearbox. That's Kevin Abring waiting in the background. Does that mean that Christofferson the JC EKS team haven't managed to get the Audi there. There's a confirmation. The uh, Dutch uh, in the Renault McGann, driving the Renault McGann, of course, has been given the spot of Christofferson. Something's gone wrong again for Christofferson. Wow. No luck whatsoever. Hansen, Hansen, Charbo, Scheider, watch for the green light. Away they go. And it is Hansen one and two. Look at them working as a team, shadowing each other, going side by side through corner one and through corner two. Grunholm is the man we need to watch. Can Kevin Abering steal third position and his second podium of the championship? No question, the Hansons are in control here. And Grunholm's out in third. Abering does have a problem in the background. But up front, Timmy Hansen takes his second win in a row. What an amazing performance from the Swede. Kevin Hansen is in second spot. Grunholm takes his first podium of the 2021 World Rallycross Championship. First of all, what an amazing season we're having, and another one-two for us is just magic. And but this race, I think, from my perspective, it's 100% a team job today. The engineers worked so hard to get us back on the pace. Uh, Kevin's been super fast and was such a teammate in, in the first two corners. There, uh, we had our plan and we stuck to it. And uh, starts have been amazing. And again, my mechanics or our mechanics, they have kept you know the car in one piece, and we come to the finish line. So, uh, yeah, today was, was definitely 100% a team win, and I'm so grateful to these guys. The World Championship standings after three rounds with six to go. Timmy and Kevin at the top of the table and starting to draw clear ahead of the rest of the world. Christofferson, after some good points in qualifying, moves up into fourth position.